Good morning. It's a bit early in California today, so I'm going to be off camera if you don't mind, but you'll get to see a reaction here. Um, I'm going to do birthday shout outs later in a video that's going to premiere. So the birthday's today for 925. I'm going to verbally say in the in the next few drops. OK, um, so for those of you where it's your birthday, please do not get offended. I will be greeting you in a different video. It's just it's really early here to be yelling them out. It's about 520 in the morning. Let's get started, Libra. This is going to be a sectioned off video. Unfortunately, it's going to have timestamps because it's going to describe different areas. The first one we're going to do is uh, new love and it's coming in right now on this timestamp, which is 45 after. So let's do new love. Can I see the cards for new love? They are feeling that they need courage with Leo. That's the first card. They could even be a fire sign. We got a Leo coming in for you, Seven of Pentacles wanting to invest. I also see here for a new person, and I'll put the cards here, I'm using light seers. Somebody wants to invest in you and I do see that they like you. For some reason, courage needs to be called in because it might be telling you the truth of their feelings, which is very deep. Okay, this runs very deep, so they're gonna need strength, courage, and the ability to place in the time okay maybe it's a factor of even giving you their time with the seven of pentacles if you look he's about to grow a plant um and it is about harvest time for this person so i do think seven of pentacles is a card you're going to see for today um that would be in their feeling spot what does this person need to do d-o queen of pentacles they need to put a little bit of care into telling you the effort involves the queen of pentacles so she is about nurturing she's about um also the feelings involved with her are about coveting and actually holding this person you know telling somebody that you care that's the queen so they need to come in with a little bit more of this care and attentiveness to you they could be slow knight of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn yeah i told you new love is coming in as the two of cups Look at all of those colors there as well. Somebody feels very, very close to you. A lot of you could have started something new is what that tells me. There's a new friendship. There's a new association to one another. Let me see if there's another card. Okay, they just feel thick. <laughs> this is um, a new light seers. My last one was very scratched up. So as I return to you today, this is gonna be the new love card is the two of cups. And if we need to do any updates, uh, we know to come from that point. They need to put a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of care into this. Knight of Pentacles, kind of slow with their actions. I think they're waiting to see something too. Maybe a little bit more information to gather about you. Um, we have a hermit here. I saw this in last night's pre-shuffle. Who's the hermit to the high priestess? Look at that. High priestess field right there. <laughs> Okay, the Hermit with Virgo, what are their feelings? Six of Wands, they want success. The Three of Pentacles, to work with you, show you effort, put more love back into it. So this person who's been isolated, I don't know if they live alone, I'm getting that. Um, like no roommates type of thing. The Virgo card, Hermit can also be you. Okay, so you could be walking into a quiet success and I, I take this as a work kind of combination. I think somebody's been called here from a work success. So some of you are doing peachy keen at your place of occupation. You could also be the hermit. We have the nine of cups, which is about overjoyed feelings, right? It's coming from this space. As you can see, the beam of light is coming from the heart. You might feel content right now, Libras, in the nine of cups. Eight of Swords, I think someone around you is restricted in telling you their feelings. Might be a busy schedule here or there's just a lot to do. So they do want to tell you the Two of Cups is cover coveraging that, excuse me. Also, it can be a past person. I need to mention it in this beginning part of the reading. This can be a past person who's not telling you their feelings. It could be the restriction itself, if that makes sense for some of you, because I I see that too. Clarify the Eight of Swords right here. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords for today. 
it's a king of cups. So for some of you, it's a DM energy or a masculine who has been isolating and keeping their feelings to themselves. I don't see much change because energetically, it's just about wanting to unite with you, uh, possibly take you out on a date, or this person could be getting creative. They want to offer some line of committing to you or some like it looks like a reunion on the table but there's a restriction here it's clarified by a lot of being alone a lot of feeling isolated king of cups lately for me when i read it it's a very isolated card this person is choosing to keep to themselves waiting for a better time that's what i've seen in the last cycle at least Oh, they could be in love with the Queen of Pentacles, I see here. This Queen of Pentacles person is very deserving. That could be you. Also, I feel like if you are a September Libra, your birthday has been so far very special. It's had a different meaning than other years. Your solar return this year feels different. If you could, I felt the emotion even saying that because a lot of you are going to see that it's not even celebrated the typical way too. Show me more of the King of Cups, um, his feelings, please. The moon, yeah, look, it even matches in suit. They're both water cards, by the way. The moon is water, Cancer, Pisces. King of Cups is known heavily as Scorpio, but it also belongs to Cancer and Pisces. So they're really, I would say they're very in touch at this time with their feelings. They're connecting. The King of Cups wants to be honest. Why is this person like restricting themselves is what I don't get from possibly even sharing with you the two of cups. Because on some level, um, Libras, I think you know about this. I think you know their real feelings and they're just, I don't know if there's hesitancy or this person is remaining guarded. It's one of the two. The moon is a guarded card. It's also mystery and the king of cups. He doesn't have to tell everybody as well and uh sorry for the low volume too it's just a little bit early in california but uh we're gonna get into louder and, and nicer readings later king of cups let's look into this five of swords they might feel like there was a conflict uh in the recent past or this person is battling something internal internal to the seven of swords this one is a bit sneaky. We have to look at that and the Five of Cups. Okay, Five of Cups on a Wednesday. That's a lot of fives, five, five. Regret, pain. I think somebody's developing more of a strategy. Not so much to continue lying to you. I think this is a strategy to come toward you. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Also, I feel like that could also be a female energy around you. Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, Six of Swords. See, what's interesting is this person has feelings for you and they're going through a major change in their life. The Tower is not always upheaval. It's just something that they need to heal. This can also be you, Libra, because your card is the Six of Swords. So you might be going through a huge change right now, a shift, and you have a lot of major arcana also. The Wheel of Fortune is about to turn. Um, this might be coming to an end too. You might be processing a new relationship with the beginning cards, the Leo card, the Seven of Pentacles. You might be dealing with fixed signs as well. I think there's a lot of towers going on with different people to show them that there's other choices, that there's a better way of doing something. Show me the tower, please. The tower here with Scorpio. What is this upheaval? There's a lot of choices in love, or there could even be a better choice, or this new person unveils their feelings. I think as I do the reading very early here, there's love coming in from a lot of different angles. And the challenge is, is that they could all be better for you or the option to even accept a new Knight of Cups in your life is going to be very special. It's a turning point for this to happen. I have gotten, some of the combinations I've gotten are the Queen of Pentacles, the Tower. I have gotten the High Priestess and the Tower. Um, 
Empress in the tower, and now the Knight of Cups is coming out as a clarifier, which you see here. Let me just see something. Who's this Knight of Cups? That way it identifies everybody, an Emperor, to match an Empress. The, oh, there's a card behind it. Ten of Pentacles, did you see that? They were, this is a new deck, so they're sticking. Ten of Pentacles, Emperor. That's exactly, uh, I just stated it, but I'm gonna say it again. The, the Emperor that you see to my right hand side, this person, which is, is so funny, they're meant for an Empress. The vibration matches. Also, this person is looking for future as well as you. If you're looking for long-term, that's a long-term card. Three of Wands, Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles. There is somebody around you who feels very left out from what you're doing. The Five of Pentacles card of yesterday, but also can be for today. I have a lot of sympathy for this person, Libras around you, because I don't think it's the Emperor. This one is incoming or is already in your life. They're maybe trying to develop a friendship with you right now. We got Justice, Three of Swords, Four of Cups, the Empress. So that, that's energy that's kind of repeating today. That's repeating energy in my hand. I believe a lot of you are getting somebody very special that's incoming, who could be definitely taking on the onboarding of this card which it's interesting because I want to do other readings today, seeing what comes out for him. Who's this past person in the Five of Swords? I just want to check it out. Who's the past person in the Five of Swords? Let me do a better shuffle. Eight of Wands, they want to connect. This is a person who possibly messaged you two in the last couple of days to let you know of their innate feelings coming toward you. And even in the future, you know, I think they're going to communicate too that they also were hurt and maybe wanting to mend things. The Five of Swords person seems like long ago too. I'm picking up that this is a hurt situation from the past. They could be wanting the Eight of Wands. Why do they communicate? Why do they open their mouth to communicate? To heal? The sun is about coming to their sunlight or they want to talk to a Libra now that lives a very sunny lifestyle or someone who's having their solar return. They view you as the sun again. Possibly they associate you to the throat chakra, which is about like opening up your, opening up your sphere to tell this person. Whoever the Five of Swords is wants it to feel like these two cards coming toward you. And I understand that. I, I understand why they want to come to this energy because that's a very open person. These are, this is an open individual. Ace of Cups. Yeah, either somebody wants to mend with you to forgive a situation or they're going to continue to be a runner. Okay, I take this as running away and not taking care of it, but that's by their free will, of course. Queen of Wands. They might need to come to a queen of wands who's changed their life is a little bit different now i feel like this queen of wands too has better people surrounding her now uh, there's better choices also i see a more positive path for them uh, queen of wands is leo but you could also be that card libra you might associate with queen of wands okay we're gonna go into a part two I just have a morning one here to break in the energy and you should see me very soon. I'm sorry I had to talk very low, but I did feel like I needed to return at that time. I felt called to read for you. So I'll be back and I'm just gonna shuffle here. It's still very early in California, but I'll see you for the video too. And uh, we'll do birthday shout outs a little bit later in the day.